I was up in London a couple of weeks ago, just before the lockdown started. Um, I walked past some tailors in Savile Row. I love that street. Uh, it's the most extraordinary mix of old, traditional and modern. And it got me thinking about the time I had a suit made for me when I got married quite a long time ago. Let me tell you a little bit more about that. When I first started as a consultant, I wore a suit for work every day. Things have drifted a bit over the years. We don't tend to wear them as much as we did. It's probably due to infection control measures. They say we shouldn't wear ties. We should be bare below the elbows, not wear a watch and rings and jewelry and things like that. Probably quite sensible, but it's been quite a change in the way doctors dress. We've had to give up our white coats, which I quite enjoyed wearing when I was a younger doctor. You had lots of pockets to put things in. When I got married quite a few years ago, I decided to have a proper suit made for me. It was in fact a dinner suit, a tuxedo, a dinner jacket with a pair of trousers. I went to a tailor who I'd heard about for over many years who made suits for people like Michael Caine and Roger Moore. He was called Dougie Haywood and he was on Mount Street in London. An iconic name from the 1960s and 70s. Having that suit made for me was unforgettable. I'm thinking about it even now, being in that shop, being measured by a man who had seen thousands and thousands of people during his career, who knew every detail of how the suit would hang, what the fabric would look like, how it would look on me. I went back several times for fittings. The thing was perfectly fitted to my body. The way I stood, the way I walk, every detail didn't go unnoticed. And then finally I got the suit and put it on for the first time. It was literally like wearing a second skin. It fitted perfectly and it still does today. I maybe put on a few pounds, but actually it still looks the part after all these years and I love wearing it. I've been thinking a bit more about suits recently. It's probably about time I had another one and walking past Savile Row really whetted my appetite. The detail that goes into making a suit is extraordinary and it got me thinking about how tailoring and surgery, particularly hip surgery, are very similar. When I see you for the first time in clinic, I look at the way you walk. I check to see if you're limping. Do you look well? What's your body shape like? How is this going to affect what I offer you as treatment for your painful arthritic hip? I examine you, I look for differences in the way your legs lie, whether there are any other problems which might cause me technical challenges when I do the hip surgery. I look at your x-rays, I look at the anatomy of your hip in great detail, and I have in mind what I'm going to do for you. I then discuss that with you, and we talk about what the options might be, what the risks and what the benefits might be of that treatment. During surgery, I'm very careful to assess all of the different factors which affect outcome of your hip replacement. Before we commit to putting the real implants in, we use trial implants, much like the fitting that a tailor does. When I'm entirely happy that things are exactly right for you, I commit to putting the, the, the hip replacement together and insert it into your body and fix it into place. That process is very similar to making a suit. It's made for you, made to measure, bespoke. The implants aren't, they're off the shelf, but the way I put them in reflects the fact that I take into account your particularities of anatomy and pathology, and hopefully that gives you the best result possible. If that's the sort of thing that you like, please get in touch. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you want to make an appointment, just call the office. The details will follow at the end of this. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Latham, and I'm the Hip Surgeon.